Hi everyone, it's Professor Ming Lu back again. So today I'm actually going to be uh, visiting one of my former students, uh, Gabriel Quinones. He actually bought a house uh, it's about two years ago and I haven't had a chance to, to see him and visit his new place. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, what he's actually done is for a lot of young people um, in California, it's really difficult to buy your first home because it's really, really expensive. So what he did was he bought the place and instead of living in the home, he's actually, he built a unit um, on top of his garage, is what he's told me. And he's actually living there. And then he's actually Airbnb-ing his, um, his house. And the money that he's making from that is more than enough to cover his mortgage and other expenses. So hence, yeah, he's actually living uh, rent-free. So there's a term actually for that. It's called house hacking. So let's go check out his place today and see how um, he set up everything. Okay, so I just arrived at my student Gabriel's uh, home. It's my first time checking it out. This is from the outside. Hey Gabriel. Hey Professor Wu. Long time no see. Thanks for yeah. inviting me to your uh, place. Come on in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this here is the living room area uh, for the Airbnb. Have the kitchen here with the bar, and back here on this door is a laundry room. And this was an extension that was added. Yeah. I, again, I'm really. Glad that um, you know. I'm really glad that you were so innovative that you were able to um, you know, buy this home and then rent it, rent it out. Uh, not rent it out. You're actually Airbnb, right? So the mm -hmm. the, uh, the revenue you're getting is more than enough to cover your uh, mortgage, mortgage. Ex mortgage expense, property tax, you know, water and all the other yeah. expenses, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I lived here for a year while the back house was under construction, so I became familiar and fell in love with this place, and I continue to take care of it and the guests have all been super respectful this is in the, the master bedroom here um got the ac units in each corner so this is a three bedroom right three bedroom yes three bedroom two bath and here's the last room and it's more of an office and it used to be my office um where i use the master bedroom as my bedroom the hallway closet, the main bathroom, and the kitchen there. Okay. Wow, I mean, this is really... So the, was, did the home come in this nice of a condition, or did you uh, put in some sweat equity to remodel? It did. So I purchased it. The only modifications I did was just adding the laundry room. Okay. Um, and getting new appliances. But other than that, the house... Uh, it was in great shape. The seller he had remodeled it right before selling, uh, so I didn't have to do much work at all. And you said you're you're rent you're actually Airbnb this, and then you're gonna you actually t took the the garage, demolished it, and you guys actually built a, a whole unit. Now you're gonna be staying there. Exactly. Yes. So I when I was looking for properties, I wanted to look for something that was a corner lot, ideally, and with a detached garage, because then I could make a duplex out of a single family home or an R1 zoning. 
uh, with that California new law where you can have an ADU in pretty much any single family. Yeah, I heard about that. I'm glad you took it. You know, you're following up on the code and yeah. taking advantage of that. It's great. Absolutely. Let's let's go check out that unit if you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we can go out the, through the front if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Thank you. Okay, I'll let you lead the way. Sure. So this here's the front door. And here's the, the living room. Uh, the view to the kitchen. Wow, this is super nice. <laughs> nice bachelor pad. <laughs> Thank you. Big screen TV, wow. Yeah, little movie theater setup. Uh, the bar area. I use the bar as my dining table. Uh-huh. Uh, I like the floor finishes. Those are super uh, high quality tile there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, very easy to clean. Here is where I work. Uh, so I split my bedroom into an office. Um, my bedroom over here is the closet. Nice, very nice. And here is the, my bathroom. Nice shower. Thank you. And I really like the high ceilings that you have in this place. Let me show my viewers here. Like these are very tall, high ceilings. Kind of reminds me of like, if you ever go to one of those high rises, you know, um, these are kind of the units, the, the condos units in those high rises. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's really, a, it makes it appear bigger and a lot more comfortable. And here is the garage. Nice. And laundry and there's an extra bathroom there that I added for guests. Cool. Um, and you have a little gym in the back. <laughs> yeah. Mini gym. <laughs> yeah, mini gym there. Um, and we can check out the patio as well if you like. Yeah, I noticed that when I first came over that uh, you have a, something going on there. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so I, because when we demolished the old garage in the yard to build this place, I no longer had a yard. So I ended up wanting to have some outdoor space. And I split the roof of the house, half as normal roof and half as a patio. Uh -huh. um, so I added this patio up here. Wow, this is super nice. Thank you. The views are amazing. Yeah, you can see downtown from that corner over there. And at night, it looks really nice when it's lit up. Um, that is for a projector where I'll sometimes uh, just watch movies or finds up here. Wow. Wait, in downtown you said is in that direction? Uh, yes, you can see it from this corner. Here I'm just doing the works of adding a, a countertop and a sink. Okay. Um, that way I'll hook up with the grill. And downtown you can see from around this corner. Well, thank you so much for showing this place. Again, I wanted to do something different this time. I actually wanted to <laughs> do a live recording just to show my students. You know, I know a lot of a lot of people these days when they, you know, once they get their their first job, it's really hard for them to buy a home, right? Even if they save up for a down payment, they're concerned about the mortgage expense, right? What, what, are, what are some expenses you get you incur monthly? There's the mor the mortgage interest. There's the um, 
utilities, property tax, right? So a lot of folks are afraid to take that leap of faith to buy to buy a home. Instead, they choose to rent. But when you rent, basically your your rent is going to someone else's mortgage. So, you know, I know it's harder nowadays. It's harder more than ever to buy a home. But the idea is you you do something like you know whether do you house hack by doing what you did, Airbnb in the property, or perhaps someone's renting out the home or renting out the, some of the some of the rooms, then those sources of income coming in can be able to cover um, your your mortgage expense and other costs so that you can finally own your first home, which is, in my opinion, one of the keys to uh, financial independence. So thanks for having me today. Of course, my pleasure. Thank you.